Hey, what's up? My name is Justin and welcome back to the Zero to Master Academy where we teach you how to go from zero to mastery. Today, I wanna to talk about the top three reasons why I see a lot of people fail to learn how to program. And you know, the thing is, I find that this is super duper common. I am a very active person in terms of forums, Discord, Reddit, in terms of teaching my friends and peers. And I see a lot of people usually fail to learn how to program. And the reality is, it's not because programming is an impossible skill to learn, most people are able to do the beginnings of just print hello world. And yet, why do most people end up dropping out of programming? So just as following disclaimer, the next following reasons are just all my personal opinions, but this is why I think most people fail to learn programming. So the very first reason is just not having the right mindset. I think a lot of people are usually stuck on micro optimizing. They're stuck on trying to figure out what is the minimal effort to get into Google, Apple, or something like that. They don't ever just start doing a project if there's no tutorial on it. They don't have a drive to just want to build something. And I really believe it's this mentality that a lot of people come into programming thinking, you know, I'm going to be rich. I want to, you know, work remotely. And yet, what is the thing driving you to continue programming? One of my favorite conversations with one of my previous mentors actually was, Justin, why are you learning X, Y, Z? Look, at the end of the day, if it's to win a shiny trophy for respect, to pay your bills, you know, whatever the reason is, it's up to you. I cannot necessarily comment on anything, but what I will say is that if your reason isn't strong enough for you as a human being, if it's not strong enough for you to go through, you know, a year to two years of struggling, you probably won't be able to learn programming. In my opinion, most people don't feel comfortable with programming until one to two years into their journey. And so if you aren't ready to put in that time and that effort, most people tend to just drop out. It really is a lifelong skill that you gotta keep on practicing over and over and over again. And if your reasoning just isn't strong enough, you know, there's nothing to keep you going. So, you know, I think that's really the first reason why I find most people just end up quitting. They're just not coming into it with the right mindset. So onto the second reason why I find most people fail is because they don't have this idea of growth versus fixed mindset. And so I think this is, you know, a very common concept that a lot of people might know intuitively or you may have already heard, but it's essentially just this idea that you have the ability to grow in your skill. And yes, you know, I find that a lot of people understand this concept and they think, you know, obviously, you know, if you spend your time practicing, you'll grow. And yet I always hear comments just like this. You know, I'm no good in technology. I don't think I can learn programming. You know, I'm not really a computer person. I don't think I'll understand. Uh, you know, it just seems so scary. Why should I learn? You know, I'm already too deep into learning something else. I don't think I can learn programming. Oh, you know, I, I don't think programming is possible. You know, I'm just not smart enough. These are all examples of fixed mindset that I find a lot of people have. Even though I find that a lot of people talk about growth mindset a lot, we usually have some sort of bias already against us that tells us, you know, we're not going to be any good. And it's really this idea that we need to be able to tackle first before you learn how to program. If you don't have the growth mindset of, you know, hey, you know, I didn't know how to do print hello world in the beginning, but now I do, or I didn't know about an array, but now I do. And you know, you just start building up and up and up. This is the type of mindset that you need to have. And really, you know, this growth mindset is so important. Programming is a frustrating field. So if you don't have that sense of accomplishment, every time you grow, every time you succeed, every time you figured out something new in programming, then you probably won't be able to stick with it. So if you're trying to learn programming, you really need to have this idea of growth versus fixed mindset and trying to stop your subconscious bias from telling you, hey, you know, you're not good enough. And instead, you know, start to think, hey, you know, I'm not good enough, but I can level up my skills. And the other thing, you know, that I just want to note is that this is really what a programmer's job is all about. It's about learning how to learn. As a programmer, you're going to come across many situations that you have no idea how to do, you've never done it before, and you just gotta learn. So if you don't have this growth mindset to keep on learning, then you probably won't be able to get far in programming. So the final reason that I find most people end up failing is because they don't have a community structure in order to support them. So what do I mean by this? I mean, you need to have some sort of friend or online community or something where you feel a part of in order to keep learning. So personally for me, when I first started learning how to program in terms of my full stack web development knowledge, 
I ended up joining the Discord community for the Zero to Mastery Academy. And it was really helpful at the time because, you know, I got to meet other people who are struggling with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, databases, so on and so on. And it's just really helpful to be part of a community where other people knew my struggle and where I could grow with them. Even if it's just a friend to talk to, even if it's just a colleague, programming is a very lonely journey and you'll just constantly be beating yourself up. Instead, when you're a part of a community, part of something else, you feel like there's a sense of accomplishment, that you feel like you and your friends are growing together. And I really think this is one of the most important tips that I can give to not go at it alone. Find a community and find one that you're specifically invested in. So, you know, like don't join communities where, you know, you just join and you end up leaving or where you join and you don't end up talking at all. Even if it's a small one, like just a friend group, find something that works for you. But anyways, that's my tips for today. And hopefully it'll help you continue on your journey to keep on learning programming. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave it down below in the comment section. I read through every single one of them. And it'll definitely help lead this channel further in terms of what we'll continue to make. Anyways, make sure to check out our other videos and I'll see you all next time.